Thank you, Representative Howard. I appreciate your work on this. I know last session you, you helped uh, DPS start the campaign on safe storage. Um, will DPS be continuing that campaign, and this is in addition to? Yes, they will indeed, and they have done a, a great job of, of putting together all kinds of billboards and pamphlets and teaching materials and just all kinds of messaging, just to remind responsible gun owners about safe storage of their firearms to prevent accidents, to prevent thefts, to prevent uh, their use in, in crimes. So it's been a, a great program, and this is just a continuation of that. It is a really great program, and as you know, I, I helped you uh, with some of the testimony last session because it's something that's near and dear to my heart. Many members have heard the story before, but there are some new members here who may not know the story um, that my dad was shot and killed with a gun that was not safe, safely stored in our home. It was our own family hunting rifle that shot and killed my dad during a break-in. And so I just, I want to emphasize, as I know you do, how important this issue is. Sometimes education can make the difference. Sometimes education can save a life. Wouldn't you agree? I would. And I would suggest that just about every gun owner wants to be a responsible gun owner. And sometimes they just need a reminder about making sure that it's stored appropriately and safely. Uh, so I think this is really just a, a camp, positive campaign, actually, just to say, Responsible gun owners, let's just make sure that you're storing them safely so that the tragedy that you unfortunately had to experience in your family and that others have had to experience, we can prevent some of those from happening. So uh, I know TxDOT does a lot of work around uh, in the street trying to keep people safer on the highways. How will this work in conjunction with that? Well, this is just simply the dynamic messaging that they have when you drive down the highway and you see those signs that say click it or ticket, that sort of thing. This would just, be, they would work with DPS to create the signage that would be in, in sync with the Keep Them Safe Texas campaign, whatever they come up with saying. Uh, and it would be done hopefully, you know, in a way that would be eye-catching but not distracting. That's part of the goal with all of their signage that they do. Uh, we also have in place in this legislation uh, an out for TxDOT in the event that, that this somehow does not qualify for their federal funding, which sometimes they dictate what can be used on those signs. So we've worked with them to make sure we have something in here that can be used without affecting funding, and hopefully will be used in a way in conjunction with DPS to have a good slogan that will roll off of people's tongues, that they will, it will be just like click it or ticket. You get used to it, you expect it, it's something that you just kind of incorporate into your daily life, and just the constant reminder of it, keep us safe. And I hope that all of the members will help spread the message in their districts too to keep families safe. Thank you so much for your legislation. Thank you very much. Move passage. Question occurs on final pass of House Bill 2242. It's a record vote. The clerk will ring the bell. I've all voted. I mean, 80. Nine eyes and 49 nays, House Bill 2242 is finally passed.